smiling robot. <laughs> ah! Oh no! Not that! One hour before the explosion. It was getting dark, the city lights are on, and our friend Handy Andy is also going home. Hello my friends, a couple more blocks and I'll be home. What's that? What's going on there? Hey, what are you doing? The police car hit me. Take a look at what happened to my racing car now. The passenger door and the fender are damaged. It's not good. I see that other cars were also cut off, not just me. Okay, that's it. I'm calling the police to complain. Hello? I'm registering a complaint for your police car. They're breaking the rules. They're cutting off other cars. What happened to them? People can suffer from that. Is that you, Handy Andy? We're sorry. We have unexpected situations. The thieves who robbed the supermarket and had your friend Emmy as a hostage, they escaped. They somehow broke the gate of the detention facility and attacked the security. The thieves stole the police car and drove away. They even broke the fence at the police station. Moreover, I think now they're trying to escape from the city. <laughs> We've started the investigation. We announced the stolen police car is wanted. But we don't even know where to look for the thieves. I know where they're going. The shortest way to escape the city is across the bridge. Send all the police cars to the bridge. I'm following them. Be careful, Handy Andy. The thieves are very dangerous and they have weapons. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to the bridge, my friends. I have to catch the thieves before they can leave the city. Here they are, on the bridge. Why did they stop? Something's wrong here. I should try to get closer. Where are the police? Why does it take them so long to come? What can I do alone? We're almost there, Handy Andy. Wait, we're coming in a few minutes. The thieves stopped on the bridge. What should I do? They will go now, that's it. The chance will be gone. Try to follow them, however, don't get too close to them. The thieves are leaving. Hurry up, fast! They're leaving! I'm going to check. Why did they stop on the bridge? A bomb? No way! The thieves attached the bomb to the bridge? Everything's going to explode! Oh my gosh, I have to go from here! Everyone, go back! There's a bomb on the bridge! Repeat, there is a bomb on the bridge! Ah! Not that! Andy, Andy, are you here? Can you hear me? Andy, Andy, answer me! Hello! Can you hear me? The rest of the story you will see in the next cartoon, my friends. If you don't want to miss any new cartoons, subscribe to our channel. Also, you can click on the word like. Friends, you can find pictures to color for this cartoon on a link. Ask your parents to print them for you. Wow! Look, my friends. What a luxurious Jeep in Handy Andy's yard. Is it his new car? You're right. It's my new car. Hello, everyone. 
I'm going to use this Jeep for a couple of days because my Mega Max needs to be fixed. It needs detailed technical checking. It was flying a lot for the last couple of days. Do you remember when Emmy's car was stolen? Thieves wanted to escape on a ferry. Mega Max helped not only to get the smart car back, but even helped the police to arrest the thieves. It did a great job. Now it needs a rest. I'm going to call Emmy. Maybe she'll come to the movies with me. Hello, Emmy. How are you? Let's go to the movies. How about that? Hi, Handy Andy. I don't feel good today. My stomach hurts and I have a high temperature. I feel dizzy. I'm in a bed. I don't have any energy even to stand up. So I'm sorry. I cannot go today. Your temperature is high? Your stomach hurts? Maybe you have food poisoning. Did you eat something bad? Tell me. Last night, I bought apples at the market and ate a few on the way home. They were dirty. Dirty apples? Now everything's clear. Don't worry, I'm going to call the ambulance. They will help you. I didn't expect that from Emmy. To eat dirty apples from the market? Remember, my friends, you have to wash every vegetable and fruit before eating. There are a lot of microbes and dirt on them, and they can be very dangerous and lead to different illnesses. If they go into your body, the consequences will be very bad. Can you see what happened to Emmy? Okay. I have to call the ambulance. They will help her get better fast. And then I'll go visit her. Hello? We need the ambulance to go to 21 Garden Street. A girl has a high temperature and a stomach ache. Thank you. I'm waiting for you. The ambulance will drive past my house in a few minutes. I'm going to wait for it and follow it to Emmy's house. I'm worried about her. Oh! Here's the ambulance. I'm following it. Take care, Emmy. We are coming. Here we go. Not now. The crossroad is blocked. This traffic jam could be a couple of hours here. What should we do? This is the only road to Emmy's house. We don't have a lot of time. The ambulance turned its sirens on. The other cars must let it go. But it doesn't help. What strange people you are. The ambulance is in a hurry to a sick person. Oh, I see the ambulance has decided to pass the traffic jam by going on a sidewalk. It started going fast. Oops. Where are you going? What a day today. The ambulance is stuck in a trench with its front wheels. It knocked down a fire hydrant. The water is running like a fountain now to a road. Seems like the ambulance driver didn't notice the fence and he couldn't turn. So he went right into the trench. He's lucky that the trench is not deep, but the ambulance cannot go from there itself. We need to pull it out. It's a great thing that I'm driving the Jeep today. I'm going to attach the tow rope now and start to pull it out. I have to do everything fast. We've already lost a lot of time and Emmy is waiting for us with a high temperature. The rope is attached. Let's start. Go! Go! It's not as easy as I thought. The ambulance is very heavy. Let's do it. Come on, car. A little bit left. Come on! Go! 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 More! I have to pull the ambulance. A little bit left. 
Help me, car! Come on! All right, we did it! Now we need to move from here and go very fast to Emmy. But how can we move? I'm going to move my truck and let you go. I hope that all the trouble is finished now. We're on our way to Emmy's house. Just a couple more blocks left and we will get there. Here's Emmy's house. Hello, I'm a doctor. I was told on the phone that you have a stomach ache and your temperature is high. I'm going to write a prescription for you and everything will be all right in a few days. I have a first aid kit with me. There's everything that we need to provide first aid. But you have to promise never to eat dirty apples again. And not only apples, but all fruit and vegetables should be washed before eating. I promise, doctor. Now I can go home and fix my Mega Max. Emmy will be all right. My friends, make sure to wash your fruit before eating and be healthy. I have to go now. Bye bye. From the early morning until night, the city is shaking because of the sounds of a jackhammer, drill, and crane. There's huge construction going on. Hello, my friends. I'm fixing my Mega Max today in the garage since the early morning. Do you hear me, my friends? I can't even hear myself. The huge construction is going on not far from me. They decided to build a shopping mall, so people from our district will not have to go shopping on the other side of the city. Now we have this noise and ramble for a couple of days. It's even difficult to work in a garage. I think it's for a long time because of the size. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh. Yes, I've managed to repair my flying car. Changed and cleaned some details. Now my Mega Max looks brand new. Now I have to check how it works. I'm sitting in the car now and waiting for the road to be more free. I'm going to fly in a few circles. I miss it. It was in the garage for many days. Oh, what are those sirens for? It's the sign of an alert. Did something happen? It's not far. Maybe at the construction site. I'm going to fly and check everything. What is this? What a huge pipe. Oh my gosh. It crushed down the bus to the sidewalk. How can the passengers get out? Where's this pipe from? Oh, it could be from the construction. The crane was transferring the pipe. It fell down right on the road. And the bus was on its way. The pipe blocked the road for it. The bus passengers are trapped now. Can you just imagine how scared they are inside that bus? They can't get out. Okay, I need to help them somehow while waiting for the rescue team. Oops. Look, there's smoke coming from the bus. The pipe hit the bus very hard. The bus can be on fire any minute. I have to do something. I have to rescue those people. We can't waste any seconds. Here, the police came. That's good at least. They called the ambulance too. There could be casualties in the bus. You're going to tell us later, Handy Andy, what happened here. But now we're waiting for the rescue team to free the passengers. We can't even waste a second, sir. The bus could explode before the rescue team gets here, and then they won't have to rescue anyone. I'm going to try to pull the pipe from the bus with a hoist. The pipe is very heavy. I can't promise anything, but I have to try. Okay, 
I've managed to attach the pipe. Now I have to try to move it. Oops! I didn't even think that it could be so heavy. I'm not sure I can move it at least one centimeter. I'm even afraid to think how much it weighs. I'm surprised that the bus could stand the hit from such power. Okay, a bit more. More! Come on! A bit more! Here we go! Hooray! We did it! Ah! No way! Are you okay, Handy Andy? Everything's fine, sir. It's nothing. The pipe turned out to be really heavy. The engine of Mega Max couldn't take such a heavy load and it broke. However, it's okay. It's most important that we manage to pull the pipe from the bus. Now we can rescue the passengers. You are a very brave person, Handy Andy. You put your life at risk for others, for people you don't even know. You aren't afraid of anything. You are a real hero. Any other person could do the same if they were in my shoes. Everyone is safe now. That's most important. See you soon, my friends. Bye-bye. One boy named Handy Andy lives in this city. Look, his garage is open. It means he is at home. Let's visit him. Hello, my friends. I didn't see you for a long time. I'm going to the supermarket in my Hummer. My fridge is empty. I have nothing to cook for lunch. I'm using the Hummer while my flying car is in the garage. It's more convenient to use the Hummer in the city than the flying car. Let's go. For example, you can't fly to the supermarket. There are always a lot of cars in the parking lot. But driving the Hummer is exactly what we need, especially when I buy food for the whole week. I know for sure that I can put a lot of things in its big trunk. What's that? Why are there so many police cars? Everything is blocked. Some car crashed into a pole. Wait a minute. I know that car. That's my friend Emmy's car. No way. Did she have a car crash? Where's Emmy? Oh, I'm afraid. I don't understand anything. I feel dizzy. Can you explain to me, sir, why everything is fenced in with a warning tape here? Hello, Handy Andy. There was a robbery in the supermarket a couple minutes ago. The thieves not only stole a big sum of money, but they also captured a hostage. If I'm not mistaken, that was your friend Emmy. The thieves took her in an unknown direction. Her pink smart car was damaged when the thieves were running away from us. Their van pushed Emmy's car and it crashed into a pole. What should we do? Did you announce the van is wanted? We have to rescue Emmy. We've already started the rescue operation. All the police of the city are looking for that van. Everything is under control, Handy Andy. I'm going with you. I can't just sit and wait while Emmy's in trouble. Calling all cars. Police cars are going to the different sides of the city to look for a thieves van. Andy Andy is coming with us in a yellow Hummer. He's going to help us to catch the thieves. Moreover, he knows the girl that's captured. First, first, I'm the second. I'm patrolling the sleeping area of the city. Don't see the thieves yet. I see the van! The green van! These are the thieves we're looking for! I'm following it! The van is going through the bridge! I need help! Green Volkswagen van! Stop immediately! Repeat! Stop immediately! Calling all cars! I need help to stop the van! Repeat! I need help! I'm almost there! I'm going to intercept the van! I'll try to stop it! Hurry up! Maybe you'll be able to stop it! The van abruptly turned onto a side street! I'm following it!
Oh no! The thieves managed to escape! The railroad crossing is closed! Now I have to wait for the train to pass. to figure out where the thieves went. We wasted a lot of time. Calling all cars. We have to go separate again to find the thieves. We can't waste a minute. We have to rescue Emmy and arrest the thieves. I'm going to the old dump trucks and I'll check there. Good idea, Handy Andy. Then I'm going to check the nearest area. Keep in touch. Calling all cars, I don't see the thieves' car yet. I checked the sleeping area, going further. I'm coming to the old dump trucks. Be careful, Handy Andy. The thieves are very dangerous. Okay, sir. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to go to the old dump trucks. I have to check it, in case the thieves hid between the old trucks. But I'm not sure. I can see only old cars here. I came here for nothing. Wait a minute. Huh! <gasps> here they are! Here it is! The thieves' van! This is it! I'm sure! Calling all cars! I need help immediately! This is Handy Andy! I found the thieves' van at the old dump trucks! Repeat, the van is found at the old dump trucks! Handy Andy, it's first. I've got your message. I'm coming. Be careful, Handy Andy. I'll be there in a few minutes. The thieves noticed me! Calling all cars! I started chasing them! You came just in time, guys. We caught them. I really appreciate your help, my friends. You saved my life. This is our job, Emmy. We need to help those who are in trouble and punish the criminals. Don't forget to say thank you to Handy Andy. We would not have been able to do it so fast if he didn't help us. I couldn't just leave Emmy in trouble. The van could escape from me again if the police didn't help me. So well done, everybody. I have to go now. I have a lot of things to do. See you soon. Wow, what a car. New, shiny, right from the car shop. And it's near Handy Andy's garage. Where is Handy Andy? Here he is. Hello, my dear friends. Haven't seen you for a long time. I want to introduce my new racing car, Dodge. It's very fast and a very powerful car. Excuse me, someone's calling me. Wait a minute. Hello? Handy Andy speaking. Hello, Handy Andy. This is the police officer. Tell me, please, for the last few days, did any racing cars come to your garage for reconstruction? It's very important. Racing cars? I don't remember that. What happened? We're looking for those who organize car racing in the city and block the city traffic. I understand. If I find out something, I will tell you immediately, sir. Street racing was banned a long time ago, but there's some drivers who break the law. Okay, I need to go to the gas station. The car is new and the tank is empty. I hope it will be enough gas to get to the station. 
Moreover, I'm really hungry. There's a pizza place on the way to the station. The pizza is very tasty there. I'm going to stop and eat. Here's the pizza place. What's that noise here? You can hear the timber coming and carrying heavy cargo. Big, long logs. Do you know, my friends, what timber is? It's a truck with big wheels, a huge gas tank, and a body with special holders. They hold the logs from both sides so they stay still during the ride. A special crane loads the logs with a special mechanism, a manipulator. The timber can carry other cargo like poles and pipes, which, wait a minute, what's that strange noise? What's going on there? Is there a roar of engines? That's the street racing that the police officer was talking about. Why does someone need to organize it? They are very dangerous for those who take part in racing and for other drivers on the road. Oh, 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 the gas is running like a fountain out of the gas station. It's real trouble, my friends, trouble. Look, the timber will be on fire soon. What did I tell you? Then the fire gets to the gas and the gas station will be on fire. It's good that the timber driver managed to get out of the car in time. Oh no, everything will explode here soon. Oh my gosh. It's terrible! Oh no! Take a look at how the gas station is burning! I've got to call the fire department! Help us, firefighters! We need help! The fire department speaking. What happened? Firefighters, come here! The first city gas station is on fire! I've got your message. We're coming now. We'll be there in a few minutes. Attention, please! Fire trucks number one and number three. Emergency call to the central gas station. There's a fire there. It's clear we're on the way. Coming fast. We're here. We'll start to fight the fire. Look, my friends. They're fighting the fire with the foam. Remember, you cannot extinguish gas with water. The fire can get bigger when it connects to water. To fight this kind of fire, people use sand, soil, or the foam, as we just saw. Fought the fire. There's no victim. Thank you everyone for the good job. Ah, everything is okay now. Now we can go home. If you don't want to miss any new cartoons, subscribe to our channel. Also, you can click on the word like. Friends, you can find pictures to color for this cartoon on a link. 
ask your parents to print them for you.